Welcome to the new set. We've been working hard to bring you something amazing. Everything's better. Everything's so much better. I thought it was really, I thought it was fine. Today we're making this charcuterie board, a sports themed charcuterie board for that special someone in your life. For me, it's Randy. When we made this, we made a lot of mistakes, but every mistake revealed a new opportunity. So you just work with those, those mistakes and keep moving forward and see what happens. And that's what it's all about. Tool Tim! This is Tool Tim, everyone. Tool Tim! <laughs> Welcome back to the party. Jeff! Jeff! Hey, Jeff Reed, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Jeff. Jeff. Can I get a whoop whoop? Hey, I'll just go get a new Jeff if you don't want to be my Jeff. Well, the people don't like this show, apparently. Have you been seeing the comments on YouTube? I've been writing some of them. So, we're not going to be silly. We're going to start fan mail. If you have any questions, please send them in. First question. Would have been nice to see you complete the project. Tool Tim! Jeff? Yeah? Can you please come stand over to my right? Okay, just go behind the true. fence. I'm trying to do, I haven't even, we're trying to do a show that helps people and you're just standing here wanting to whine about it. First, we're gonna play with water and color and wood, and tape, and resin. Jeff? Okay, so this is resin tint, and it's oil-based, and it floats on top of water. Look at that go! Oh my goodness. Jeff? Okay, I'm gonna take the back of a paintbrush, just swirl this around, just to give it some effects. Drum roll. Uh, can I have a drum roll, please? Oh. A little dip diddly doo dah. It's called marbling. Under and up. And now we'll let it dry. And then we'll take off the tape and we'll resin the whole thing. And then serve something on it. Fish. We'll put some fish on it. So we're just gonna take all this tape off of the wood that we used to protect it. So tape is important because it has to be waterproof so the resin won't soak through it. And it has to be sticky enough that the resin won't get underneath it. We took the tape off of this, but look at all the crap we got all over this. So now I just gotta sand this off. Really happy with how it's turning out with that Scat Rough Riders green there. We sanded off all the mess, and now we're gonna put on a sticker. Oh, this is weird. Two Jeffs. What? Two Jeffs, now we have two Jeffs. Off just because it fits so nice like that. It makes me so, so happy. Does that make anyone else happy? Happy. 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 Thank you. Jeff! Jeff! Okay. We're filming. The cool thing about like these pieces, am I? Jeff! 
Jeff. Jeff. And now, Jeff, a message from our sponsors. So we just poured the resin and made sure to cover the entire bottom so that we seal the whole thing so that moisture can't get into it. That's very important, otherwise the moisture can expand and contract the wood and over time it'll start to crack. And uh, so we're just going to get the bubbles out of here. So, so what we're doing outside again is sanding. Now people are always saying, but you know, will it scratch, will it scratch? It's scratch resistant, but not scratch proof. So just a quick sand again on the surface. Okay, wipe it off. Watch how it just comes back to life. Oil it. Look at that. Hey, perfect. The great thing about this process is if you get a scratch, it's not a big deal. Just sand it and then oil it again. So now I'm just gonna go put, oh jeez. So now we're just gonna go put the legs on the bottom and then serve it up for the game with the boys. Okay, I'll call that a success. Look at that. Just from our imaginations, it's gonna bring so much happiness into the world. So don't be afraid to just make stuff and make mistakes. We'll see you next time, and this has been another successful Tool Tim project.